Yo what is going on guys I'm back with another video and today I am back on Mythical PS to check out the Battle Pass and today's video will not only cover some progress on the Battle Pass but will also be comparing all the loots or checking out all the loots that we can get from the regular and premium Battle Pass once you complete every single level. Anyways, before we get into that, I do also want to announce a giveaway of two premium battle passes to two different winners, winning one of these battle passes each. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to leave a like and comment your in-game name down below. The winner will be picked in just about two days as always. They will be announced in my community discord, in the server discord and on my pinned comment. Links of the discords are down below in the description, so definitely make sure to join those. Now speaking of the battle passes, these will be the $10 store credit tokens. As you can see, you can purchase the premium battle pass with a right click option. So before we actually go ahead and purchase the premium battle pass, let's actually check it out for ourselves. So if we open up the battle pass interface, as you can see, this is the season one, which will end on the 27th of April. Now you'll get experience for completing tasks. Once you complete the task and you um, obtain all of the experience for that level, you'll be able to claim the rewards once you have this in green. Now there are multiple different pages and this goes up to a total of 300,000 experience on the battle pass as you can see right here which is a lot of experience to gain but once you get here you'll be able to get yourself a full master chief armor set if you are on the free battle pass if you are on the premium you will of course get yourself a full range of additional rewards on top of that as well. Now, as you can see, we are going to unlock the premium battle pass real quick by doing this. Oh, I actually need three of these store tokens to unlock this. So I'll be giving away six of these in total. Um, as I said, there will be two different winners winning a premium battle pass each. So three of these tokens each. Anyways, let's go ahead and unlock this now. And as you can see, you have now unlocked battle pass premium for season one. Now, of course, this doesn't give me any experience. This doesn't level me up. But now we will be able to access both of these rewards every time we complete an experience milestone. Now the first task we have to do is to kill an escaped mutated beast so we are going to do that in just a second. I'm thinking about doing like one hour of completing tasks just to see how far we can get our experience on the battle pass. Once I have finished my one hour of completing tasks I'll ask the owner Connors uh, to unlock all of the rewards so we can check out everything together. So here we go, this should be the first task that we go ahead and complete. Now I believe this should give me, oh it actually gave me a rainbow bow, but I believe this should actually progress my battle pass and I should have completed the task. Kill the escape uh, mutated beast, hmm, I don't know why this hasn't completed yet. So I have meanwhile learned something. Each kill that I do only gives me five experience, which means that I would have to do about, um, how much is that actually? 20 kills, I believe, uh, in order to get myself the um, unlock to the next level. Now, once you unlock to the next level, that's only when your task is completed. So each task gives you a different amount of experience and you have to get a good task in order to get a lot of experience by completing that task. As you can see, if I would um, attack this boss again, if I would now open up my battle pass, I would be at 90 experience, meaning I would only need two more kills in order to complete this battle pass task. And um, there we go, this should be the final kill then, which would unlock the or finish off this task, get me to the next level, and then I should be able to claim a reward. So let's Let's have a look here 100 experience claim rewards and now my next task would be to mine mythical or rocks now there is a complete topic on forums which i think is really interesting if you type kong kong guides just like that you will go on to the wiki and if you go on to the wiki there is a nice little wiki page about the battle pass telling you every single task that you can obtain, also the experience that you will get for completing the task or for participating in the task. Now Mythical Orbs is something a little bit more AFK, you can go there by of course just clicking on the mining spot. Once you do that, you'll come to here and there should be some Mythical Orbs right here as you can see. And these would give you one experience each time you mine one of these ores. So after mining a lot of these mythical PS or these mythical orbs rather, we have completed ourselves yet another battle pass task. Now this means that we can now move on to the next task, which is to complete Slayer task. I think this is a little bit more interesting. However, this can take quite a while as well because you would need to get to uh, all the way up to 500 experience in order to complete this. Now completing one Slayer task will grant you 10 experience, meaning you will have to complete 25 Slayer tasks in order to progress to the next 
next um, level right here. Now that is of course if you do get this as a task for your battle pass. I don't know if all tasks are in order or random, but just so you know, completing a slayer task for your battle pass will give you 10 experience. So a little nice drop while progressing our slayer task for the battle pass, which we are currently doing quite well as I believe we're already on Slayer Task 8 so we should be over 300 experience already but anyways we just got ourselves a Dragon Chain Body at Calfight Queen Kill 2 no way, we just got ourselves a Pet Tormented Demon as a drop from the Tormented Demons on my Slayer task. I don't know where it is on the floor because my inventory is full so it's somewhere on here but um, yeah that's pretty cool not gonna lie all right, another rare drop while doing slant. We just got ourselves a ring of the riches. Now, this is actually a nice battle pass tiles because I'm just doing slant, chilling, AFKing, and meanwhile getting myself some juicy drops. So we just completed a bunch of slayer tasks as you can see right there meaning that we should normally complete the battle pass task as you can see right there and the next one is actually an easy task it's to open insanely OP keys. Now if I am correct these should give me 20 experience each for my battle pass I just opened all of them which I did not expect to do but anyways I believe that has already given me all the experience I would need to move on to the next uh, task which is to recycle items at the item recycler which is right here as well. Now this is going to give me 50 experience per item that I managed to recycle so let me find some items that I actually can recycle here. And by just recycling all the items that I just got from the previous task I managed to complete this one as well. As you can see we are now already at 2000 experience. The next task could be to open up the vote key chest. Once again it's a chest that's right here somewhere in the vote chest and this should give me a total of 500 experience for each key that I open. So let me check if I have some vote keys real quick. Anyways, this is going to be the last vote key that I should use in order to open it. As you can see, keys used for 500 experience each key, meaning I get myself a total of 2000 experience and that should have um, completed that task, meaning the next task would be to open up any rage chest. Now I'm already going to claim all the rewards that I've um, collected all the way up to now if I go ahead and bank everything real quick because um, apparently my inventory is too full. Um, but anyways, besides that, I'm going to ask Connor, the owner, to um, progress the rest of my bottle pass ta uh, task so I can actually go ahead and um, claim all the additional rewards on top of what I just got so we can cover all the loots. Anyways from that I already got myself 25 box of lamps, two t uh, 10 dollar scratch cards, a cosmetic override kit, insanely OP key parts, uh, two 5 dollar bonds, 10 dollar bonds, 20 minute double drop scrolls and supreme mystery boxes and some additional scratch cards. So right now we have our battle pass at maximum experience which is 300,000 experience as you can see right here. So if you go through all of these pages you will see all of the experience milestones will now be green meaning that I can um, claim all of these beautiful rewards in just a second so let's go ahead and do all of that it should stack up nicely in my inventory as you can see so these are all the rewards that I haven't claimed yet so in total we got ourselves 100 black market dollars we got a BMT required item reset some clue scrolls a box of recycled coins which gave us 300 175,000 bulging tags bags which is really nice also some of these super tags bags boxes which is going to add on a even more we got ourselves 100 enchanted snowballs which you can use right here you can buy any of these if you want to including some very nice perks as well there then we got ourselves a mythical experience uh, lamp zone i actually have no idea what this does so let's see how much experience it would give in herb lore and absolutely nothing probably because i'm maximum experience okay that doesn't that does make sense uh, but anyways moving on 250 agility tickets some big red keys some bonds right there as well we also got the increased rate rare chance token some go big or go home boxes so let's go ahead and open these up real quick just to see what we can get and um, yeah collector's necklace not too bad there we got some red keys some scrolls of praise we also got this lucky clue scroll casket which gave us a cast key oh that's actually a pet not too bad at all and then we got some scratch cards right here a um, $50 scratch card as well which I'm going to open up straight away just to see what we can get and we get ourselves a clue scroll on top of that um, now moving on we also got this master chief set some more insanely OP keys which is nice to stack up in the bank but let's talk about this set right here and we also got this ice die which is a single use now I don't know what this can be used on but I do know for sure that it will have some sick use but anyways let's go ahead and bank um, some of these 
these things so I can actually check out the armor set. So I'll be back in a second. So checking out this armor set, the Master Chief armor set. I don't fully know what it does. It might be just a cosmetic look, but it does look really great in my opinion. It's like you're some sort of stormtrooper. Uh, fighting in Halo or something, which is uh, yeah quite nice to see. So apparently this Isaac can be used on a range of items, including this Smuggler's offhand, uh, offhand staff. It looks really good already, so let's have a look how it would look like once we add the ice die on top of it, and then it should be the Smuggler's offhand staff eyes. And yeah, it looks very sick in my opinion. I really like that. Also, it does do like 2% additional damage, which is very sick. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to enter the giveaway. I'll be catching you guys in my next videos. Take care and peace.